breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams explained. That is what this video is about. My name is Paul Kaisers. I'm, uh, I'm a specialist in Microsoft Teams, uh, SharePoint, Viva and Copilot. So if you need some help, please contact me. My details or uh, to make an appointment is below. Uh, but first, let's get into the movie or the video. Um, so I opened uh, my uh, calendar already in Microsoft Teams. Uh, this is basically uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a meeting. And this you still could do in uh, your Outlook, but I'm going to do it in Teams because I'm already in Teams. So I'm going to call it a Breakout uh, Explained. And um, I'm going to invite Debbie and Peng to this, uh, to this meeting. And this is basically what we all do. We just create a meeting in Outlook or in, um, in uh, Teams. And uh, now it comes because when you are, have created the Microsoft Teams meeting, you can go to Teams and uh, click on the meeting you just created. Click on Edit. And now within uh, the desktop client, and this is really important because in your mobile version you won't see it but in uh, the desktop client you will have a new tab called breakout rooms so if i click on here uh, you will get this overview and we can create a microsoft uh, breakout room so here i'm going to click create room um, you can choose how many by default it's two in this case because i have two participants uh, and I'm going to leave it on too, but you can do it up to 50. So that's quite a lot. I'm going to create the rooms and what happens is just created two rooms. And basically what these rooms are, are basically separate meetings, but they are connected to this one. So that's uh, something you need to know. And then something else which really important in here is that this uh, room is called room one and room two. Now, in my case, I'm just doing it for a demo, but if you are a person who does multiple sessions a day, then it's good to rename the rooms uh, because, um, yeah, if I chat in a room one and I chat in another room one, which room belong to which meeting? Yeah. I hope you understand. Um, so how can we do that? We can go to this uh, three dots and here we can click on rename. So I'm uh, still calling it uh, room one and then I'm going to do breakout explain. So I know exactly that if somebody chats in room one breakout explained, it belongs to this meeting. So that's, that's the first thing. I'm not going to do it for the second because it's a similar. Then we've got room options. If I click on this and uh, it will open uh, my browser and you will have the options to select like a normal meeting, but then for your breakout room. So this is good to know. Uh, you can set uh, several items here. Um, then uh, we still have the option to delete it and last but not least when we are finished and uh, we are going to assign participants so we can click on automatically assign then it's just doing it randomly or we can do it manually and if we uh, click manually we have to say who is going to which room this can be particularly handy when you know exactly what they are going to talk about in which rooms. I'm going to choose automatically and then I'm going to click next. And uh, this is it for uh, setting up the uh, breakout rooms. Now there are still some uh, items that you need to know because you could have a separate uh, uh, organizer who can open the, um, the breakout rooms. I'm not going to go into that detail at this moment, uh, but what we are going to do, we are going to join this meeting. And I have to be sure that I turn off my sound. 
else it will echo. So I just started the meeting until now. I'm waiting for the others. Let's uh, go to the Peng or Debbie. I'm going to join. Also, I'm going to stop this. All right. So now it's Debbie in the meeting. I'm going to put her away for a moment. And you hear on the background, it's also requesting Peng to uh, join the meeting. I'm going to join with Peng. Allow. And I won't set the audio. Join. So now uh, we have um, uh, three participants, or we are with three in the meeting. I'm going to switch back to the desktop. And um, at the top here, we have the rooms. So here we can select the rooms. And uh, as you can see, the uh, there are no participants to assign. Uh, and uh, we see that we have two rooms, both closed, and you see who is in uh, which room or is going to which room. Um, so here we are still, we are okay. We could select to uh, add another room and uh, we could delete the room and we can have settings. So we can uh, assign presenters to the manage the room. In this case, I won't do that, but uh, um, I could say uh, Peng is uh, washing the room. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I can set the time limit. So uh, nil hours. I can say, okay, this is a uh, one of five minutes. Uh, automatically move people to the rooms uh, and uh, give them the possibility to come back to their main room. I'm going to do that. Um, then I save it. Once I've saved it uh, and I'm going to open the rooms, uh, people will be sent to the room. So here we go. I will uh, try to do it. Open. It's opening the rooms. And here you see in Debbie that it's going to say in 10 seconds you are going to be assigned to another room. Uh, I can already join the room, so but now I'm automatically added to the room. So here you see I've been added uh, to the room. I can click on return to go to the main room. If I go back to uh, Paul, you see that he's still... If you like this video so far, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Only one in this room. Now, uh, this is the main room and it's called Breakout Explained. And uh, I can make an announcement. For example, um, this is a demo announcement. Send it. And uh, people are going to get it as a pop up and within the chat. So it's important. Um, People can start uh, chatting. So here I'm going to show you uh, afterwards what is happening. Uh, chat one. And I'm going to do the same for uh, Peng. Chat two. And in case of Peng, I'm going to return to the main uh, meeting. So now you see he's back in the main meeting. So I'm going to do this. Uh, back um, okay and now that we are almost finished we are going to close the rooms I'm going to close the rooms and uh, let me go to Debbie uh, she is already back but you normally get a message as well like okay you are going back to the main room and this is actually how it works so after the meeting, um, I'm going to leave this. Leave. All right. Uh, I can close. And I go to the chat window. Here you see that room, one, uh, room two and uh, breakout exp or explained room one. So here you see the difference. If you would have multiple rooms, uh, 
a day, so every time a room won, you wouldn't know who's belonging to whom. So that's why I said always try to rename the rooms. Um, yes, this is uh, what I wanted to explain about uh, the breakout rooms. It's the basics. There is still more. Uh, it are a few details. But if you want to know, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe my, to my channel. This is it. Um, the uh, video I recommend to watch is this one about Microsoft things, uh, 10 things you are paying for but not using. Um, and see you next time.